having an interesting discussion over here. So Ryan asked Vince and I, hey, do you have to be undefeated to be a GOAT? And there's two ways to answer that question. First off is the logical way, which is absolutely not. Why would you have to be undefeated to be the greatest of all time? The other side of it is, yes, of course, that argument always comes up. Right, I, mean, I can think of, there's very few athletes who were ever undefeated. And most athletes in most sports, you get a redo every 12 months. I mean, the Patriots go in and win eight games in a row, they're undefeated this season, right? But that part never gets put in. Or you take even a, a, a child athlete. You take a guy lost five, six matches or games, whatever it was as a freshman, he comes into his sophomore year, those never happened. Clean slate. He goes into the state championship match at 15 and 0 or 30 and 0, whatever the record may be. They're going to read that over the loudspeaker and completely undefeated at 30 and 0 for this season. But that's a very real thing. You know, you kind of get this rinse and redo every now and then, and you don't get that in combat. That doesn't come, and that's fine. That's fair for everybody, but it doesn't come. And as I look at the guys that are undefeated, and there are a couple. College wrestling, Kale Sanderson. Absolutely never lost. Only guy to ever do it. You are going to look like a fool if you ever argue somebody else is the greatest of all time other than the one and only guy who did it with absolutely no losses. So you see the problem, but that feeds back to Ryan's initial question, which is do you have to have an O? If I was to look at the world of boxing before my time, but I have certainly read and heard a lot about it, but with Sugar Ray Robinson, who went completely undefeated. Within my time, there's one athlete, which is Floyd Mayweather who went undefeated. Other than that, I can't think of anybody. I mean, I really can't think of any of the greats. Dominic Mociano is going to get outscored at a side tournament somewhere along the way. Mike Tyson did not make a world or Olympic team in amateur boxing somewhere along the way. Floyd Mayweather entered the Olympic Games and did not win the Olympic gold medal somewhere along the way. I would push back on anybody who wasn't defeated. That's my other problem with the question. I've absolutely never lost. Eh, first off, are you in a real sport? I mean, that would be a very good question. If Dominic Mociano sits me down and goes, Chael, I found this sport and I'm the best ever and I have a gold medal to prove it and I've never lost, I'm probably going to have to look back and go, Dom, were you in a very competitive sport? This sounds very weird to me. How many times did you did you compete against anybody, anytime, anywhere? You did this over a period of a lifetime. You never got beat. Hmm, it sounds like you should have been what's called bored and moved on and done something else. So it's a very relevant thing. And when I do look at the real great, I look at the Michael Jordans of the world. I look at the Tiger Woodses. Lance Armstrong, say whatever in the hell you want. I look at these great athletes and they all do have something in common, which is they don't have a zero. There's something very real about having to fail. There's something very real about getting beat and then getting back up. There's something very real about learning from your mistakes. So when you have these people that come in and they make some kind of a claim, and I have to say, it's usually people making some kind of a claim, and it's usually from a period of time ago. Because in today's world, it's very hard to get away with such an exaborate lie. Is exaborate a word? Exorbitant lie. It's very hard to do. Everybody's got a camera. And their phone is a camera. Every Android, every iPhone, they're all cameras. It's hard to get away with anything. I only offer you that because when you hear these stories of folklore, they're generally just that. And when I do look at, the, at most of the great athletes, and again, I'll go back to Jordan, Kobe, rest his soul, tight. you look at these greats, they get beat. But they're also in a very real sport that is very competitive. Oh, and by the way, they go put it on the line. The Brett Favre's of the world, the Peyton Manning's of the world, step to the line on any given Sunday, whether they feel like it or not. And with that comes defeat. So as I'm answering Ryan's question, which really was probably a yes, no, I may be one of the few people he could have asked that question to that is going to extend a yes or no question into an entire diatribe. What was that word you taught me a minute ago? Exorbitant. Exorbitant. Now I taught you all something. By the way, I taught you all something. Not only does a zero not matter, you now learn the word exorbitant, and none of you, none of you have thanked me.